Hello and welcome back to our little base at Venus. This is a getting started guys if you want to know how to survive on Venus. So previous episode we have built a small shelter just to make sure that we don't get our face melted off and we don't die a horrible death in very few minutes. Uh, today's focus will be a little bit different. We need to set up production to be able to produce more stuff that we need so we can extend our lifetime for another couple of, you know, minutes, hours and whatnot. So today I will be mainly focusing on setting up our uh, production in terms of auto lathe, in terms of arc furnace and also to set up a backup coal generator just because sometimes, well, the solar power panel, the one that we have doesn't provide enough power for us to be able to, you know, recharge our batteries and then we're in deep trouble. If we have a backup coal generator, which we it has been provided to us, then it makes things easier in terms of getting everything done. So right now I'm just picking up a lot of batteries to make sure that we can actually have those constantly on chargers. And then we will be building out a little bit, you know, patio outside the base. And also the sharp eyed among you have probably seen that I have done a really stupid thing in terms of putting this door backwards meaning i have no power connector or data connector on the inside of this door so that means also i'll have to fix it so all right with that being said our suit is filling up meaning we should be taking out the air here we're putting in we're manually cycling the airlock i will automate it <coughs> at some point but right now the idea is that I do as much as possible manually to make sure that it's the, it's a thing of priorities, guys. So you really have to, you know, do the priorities. Uh, the priorities now, as, as I said, auto lathe, arc furnace, and after that we will need to tackle, you know, the pipe bender because we will need to, to... Our main problem now that we have sorted this out is oxygen and water. So, um, water, we have a finite amount of uh, bottles and we have no way to transfer the water from this huge water tank into the bottles. And for that we need to build, you know, a stand and a water filler, etc, etc. So those are the things that we need to tackle right now. However, uh, first things first. First we put these batteries inside, making sure that they're being powered so we can interchange them when we want to. <clears throat> and then just go from there. Right. Okay. Let's see. What do we have here? I have also picked up uh, the beginnings of an airlock. So I'm going to actually build out here the console. I'm going to put here the advanced airlock. I'm not going to, you know, power it on just yet. So then we have the disc. I'm going to stick it in there. Do I have the glass sheets? There we go. So I want to have this mostly constructed so later on I don't have to worry about it. And then we have the kit sensor which I should be placing, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking here, uh, not the motion, gas sensor, yeah. Gas sensor will be needed by the airlock. Okay, and well, while I'm already here, might as well actually connect the damn thing, you know, power-wise. Yeah, maybe I just do it later. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see, what else do we have? Here, I can actually dump stuff a little bit. The flares, I mean, the stuff that we don't need and we will need to grab more stuff from outside. So I'm just kind of dumping here. We don't have a locker or anything yet set up. It, As I said, it's a matter of priorities, guys. So yeah, right now my priorities are to actually okay my welder is full so yeah okay just wanted to check that part out now let's close this thing let's close the door and we'll need to cycle the airlock you want to limit the amount of times that you're going in and out because when you're going in and out it gets a little bit tricky in terms of um, you, every time you're heating up your tank, your waste tank is filling up like crazy. So you really want to be careful with that one. Okay, so here we go. What do we want to do? We want to essentially put this back. I'm going to mine a little bit the area around so that I have uh, room where to place these tanks. So there we go. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Mining it out so that we 
do get access to yeah the frames around so we can place you know the arc furnace and the auto lathe and whatnot so i'm just digging things out a little bit oh we found some copper you don't say that's gonna be my handy oh an iron very nice okay the, our lander is close by because uh, yeah, the sooner we set up production, we can make lockers, then we can actually move the stuff also from the lander inside. Because I, I don't know if there are storms on Venus, I think there are, but... Initial couple of days, I think the developer said that you have a, like, what, seven days grace period? And I don't want to toy with that. So yeah, oh my... Yeah, my suit power is low, that's not the biggest problem, but my water is declining, so yeah. I want to fix that now that thing being said uh where's this the crowbar we're gonna force close it so initially i wasn't paying that much attention to how many times i go in and out but you want to optimize that trust me every time you go in you introduce some portion of the heat to the inside of the base and you don't want to do that too much because well you'll need to cool it down and I mean, nobody likes the boiling 40 degrees when you're drinking your flask of water, right? It's like, you know, going to, I don't know, sauna or something. Well, saunas are typically 90 degrees, but still. Okay, let's drink our water bowl, unlock and open the helmet. Come on, water, consume, there we go. Nice. Return it back. So I'll have to also think about the food and everything. So now we can close and lock the helmet. Good. Now that was one wasted entrance and exit completely. But what can I tell you? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to replace the battery. Let my big battery charge. Obviously it's not going to be charging because it's nighttime. But that means that uh, the one thing that is about Venus previously... During the night time, the temperature on Venus was 100 and something degrees. And right now, the temperatures on Venus are a constant 460. So you no longer have to, you know, worry about whether you should go out during the day or the night. So you're just going during whenever you feel possible. So, I mean, it's harder a lot. As you can see, I have to constantly swap out my tanks, but at least... I have no, you know, guilty feeling if I'm going out during the daytime. I mean, it's the same, so, yeah. Alright, so. Let's go. Come on. Uh, I'm gonna also put the frames here underneath, because if I ever expand my base, I won't be able to access them later. And that's something that I want to be tackling right away. So I'm gonna weld those two. And I'm gonna weld them airtight. Come on one two so that the air doesn't leak out if i ever needed to it's always when you're when you're adding stuff that's you know close to your base you want to you know seal it shut so to say right okay so now let's take care of the frames we're gonna place a couple of frames around you know build a nice patio where uh, our machines will reside here we're probably going to put auto lathe and here I want to be putting a coal generator. <clears throat> and then here onwards I will be extending it a little bit just to smooth out everything. How many frames do I have? Okay, I think I have one more. I'm going to keep it if I need to add it somewhere. So right now let's just weld those as much as possible. So let's see. And I'm going to weld these once alone, because these don't need to be airtight. So, construct the frame, construct the frame. Please, battery, last at least a little bit longer. Don't die on me. There we go. Two more. Uh, uh, the battery died. Okay, we need to change the battery. Okay, no biggie. That's the good thing when for having a chargers in the airlock. So, okay, battery, swap. There we go. No biggie. All right, iron frame and uh, two more iron frames and then we're done. And then we want to be bringing over the auto lathe and everything else. Okay, good. Fixed. Maybe I should place one more here. Yeah, I can place one more here because we will need it. Okay, can we 
Oh, I need two. I have two iron sheets. I'll need two iron sheets to make the uh, to make the auto life. So I don't. You don't want to consume all of your sheets. So arc furnace and auto lathe. Yeah. Let's put the auto lathe on this side. There we go. Come on. Good. Then we want to first to I take two iron sheets. So see, this is what I need the iron sheets for. Then we will need uh, the cable coil. And then we will need the plastic sheets, if I'm not mistaken. No, uh, no, no, not screwdriver yet. Welding torch and two plastic sheets. Right, I forgot. Sorry. Okay, welding torch, two plastic sheets. And now we need a screwdriver and then auto lathe construction is complete. One thing that I want to take also is the arc furnace and yeah, okay, coal generator. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, no, that's arc furnace. Coal generator. We put it on this side because on this side we will have the power generation. And do I want to turn it like that? I actually want to feed it from front, something like that. Right, build it. Good. We will connect it later. Right now I want to be placing the arc furnace because our tank is getting a, once again dangerously high. So, all right, arc furnace is going there and, uh, okay, I'll need to go inside and uh, empty out my waste tank because it's getting dangerously high. Now that being said, ooh, did I forget something? Yeah, actually I want to take as many of the things from inside inside as possible because if the storm hits and the wind starts blowing then I'm in deep trouble so I want to take as much as I can pill for example is really important just in case we ever get I mean here I have iron frames and whatnot okay so ooh, screwdriver I forgot about that there we go so when you get the caution of the suit you have some amount of time still left so yeah okay let's close the door and start sucking the air out that will decelerate our waste tank from getting filled really quickly uh, right come on 50 kilopascal there we go okay so let's put the cooler air in <clears throat> and as you can see right now it's running around 30 ish degrees which is i would say you know cozy so right now what we want to do is we want to exchange our waste tank so what let's do this uh by the way the temperature the waste tank is full of oxygen so it really has a lot of oxygen what you want to do you need to cool it down otherwise it will heat the base significantly so first i'm going to dump my canister full of oxygen and then i'm going to dump my waste canister inside quickly and it will fill up with oxygen, so it's not ideal, but I want to be, this was a way for me to cool the tank. And now open up the tank so it will just pressurize the base a little bit more until we can construct a pipe bender. And that's the reason why we are building all of these shenanigans. So auto lathe, it will be the first task and the second one will be to make sure that we build a pipe bender. Yeah. All right, so we're going out. And what I want to do, I want to suck out all the air. We do have our pressurized tanks. Let's see. Okay, we have our tanks are being pressurized. Good. We have everything we need. Let's go outside. Put in the crowbar. Actually, the moment that this is done, we will deconstruct the door. Because the door was placed backwards. And that's really, you know the big problem that we have here. So right now, we'll fix it. Good. All right. There we go. We want to place like this and wait, not the glass door, the composite door. So yeah, the glass door would require more glass sheets and that would really make, uh, I would make a huge mistake by doing this. So yeah, all right. There we go, composite door, good. And now the composite door is put in the right place, so that thing has been sorted. However, we need to connect the 
auto lathe yes so let's connect the auto lathe first okay we will just splice the cable from this side and we'll place it so it connects to the other one okay come on there you go there you go So once we connect the auto lathe, then we should connect the arc furnace. I mean, uh, so far we are doing good on the tanks, waste and oxygen and whatnot, but uh, that's gonna deplete really soon. So you, you, you really don't have the time. You really don't have the time. You have to figure that one out. So oh, wait, why did I put it like this? In theory, what I need to do, uh, what I need to do, you need to just connect it correctly. So, we connect the auto, sorry, uh, arc furnace, and then we do it like here, and then we turn it like this. Good. Easy. Okay, so let's smelt something quickly. Turn on the arc furnace. There we go and smelt. We need to smelt a little bit of iron and a little bit of copper. We do have some, so it's gonna help us a little bit. Not much, but at least we will be, be able to get some production going. Okay, arc furnace, copper, hit it. I need to just swap the mining belt. so. Also what I want to do, I want to place this inside, good. Then we have copper, let's dump in a little bit of copper. It will help us get more cables, because we will need more cables. Especially if we want to connect the coal, uh, the po coal power generator. So let's turn off. I'm really careful in terms of turning everything on and off, because we don't have a lot of power. Meaning we should be really, really restrictive with the amount of power we have. We print a couple more cables and then we can actually start connecting this. Okay, so we take you up to the side. There we go. Then we take it up. Straighten it up, up, up. Roll it. There we go. I'm probably going to be putting one more uh, solar panel up. I just not, don't know if I'm going to be placing it here or on top. So right now, I think this is the best way to connect the power generator because then we can actually dump in a, a bunch of coal and still have power generation during the night, which will actually help us charge our batteries, even maybe in the case of emergency. So yeah, there you go. See, we really needed that, that cable. So now let's connect it. Okay, good. That's settled. So now we have power generation, at least some. We can dump it in and we can actually use it to charge our batteries. Let's see, what do we have? This, is, this one is full, this one is almost full. In that case, I'm gonna swap out my suit battery so it gets charged a little bit more. Good. All right. And yeah, that, that actually solves that part. Now, what I want to be doing is I want to make sure that, yeah, okay, power done. <laughs> and again, full waste on the suit. Oh boy, oh joy. Okay, let's see if we can go mine a little bit more. I want to be getting a little bit of gold, a little bit of coal, a little bit of copper, and a little bit of iron because we will be smelting those and it's still daytime, which means it's highly beneficial that I actually just, you know, mine a, these couple of things while I can still see what, what I'm doing. So I don't need a lot, but some I will need. I mean, for the coal and the copper, I'll probably need two stacks, but I don't know why the, the air is just flinging me around. It's just tossing and turning me around, which is kind of weird. All right. Gold, coal. I want to be producing some iron sheets as well. Okay, the night time is coming. So let's take this thing out. Swap it for tool belt. There we go. 
and let's see if we can take more water bottles and maybe a little bit of food there we go our suit is once again being fully loaded up so yeah okay uh, let's dump in another piece of coal no everything is full we don't need that on second thought our main battery for the base isn't full so maybe it's a good idea we just dump it because we don't want to be going willy-nilly yeah there we go it's better that we charge it rather than not I'm probably hearing you ground forks can you make up your mind yeah I can I'm just new to the Venus to be honest so yeah right. we're sucking the air out hopefully that will drop the temperature and oh we are in a little bit of a crisis with the suit come on come on come on Okay, okay, let's dump the air in, force open, why is the pressure dropping, open, close, oh, I forgot to close up that vent, yeah, oh, okay, that was a little bit of a loss, which means I'll need to open up a little bit more of this tank, there we go, the helmet is open, so we can barely breathe, yeah, okay, now we're in crisis, Okay, now what do we want to do? We want to dump the oxygen. Yes, that one. Uh, but I need to cool it down first. So I need to dump, take, the, let's take the air tank first. Yes. Tank let's take the, uh, this one second. And then we dump it into the, hold on. Move this. All right. Okay. 125 waste tank. That's the problem. So now let's see. Uh, okay, let's open it. There we go. Let's put it back in. Okay. Right. So. The problem is that we have suffered a minor, you know, damage to our lungs, which means I'll need to take the pill to solve it. Our vitals. Yeah. Okay. Now we're good. So now let's drink some water and eat some food. On the, on the plus side, we have at least managed to set up, you know, production. So now we are able to smelt and we are able to build. Right. So my thoughts are that, okay, that's one water bottle consumed. We have to be really careful in terms of our water consumption. Now, my thoughts that uh, in the next episode, probably I'm going to be rushing to build the uh, I'm going ru to be rushing to build the pipe bender and then I'm going to be rushing to build the ice crusher. However, uh, I think this is it for this episode. By the way, guys, uh, on the screen top right corner, you can actually see my Mars getting started guide that I did a while back. Uh, I think it's still a really good guide. And if you're looking not something extreme as Venus... You have a Mars getting started guide and in the bottom description I will have link to Europa.